the barn, do some truck pulls. I've got the Hellcat. I feel like an absolute idiot bringing this thing here. These trucks are huge. And I've got this clapped out Challenger I'm about to drive in here, but it's all right, because JH did show up and brought his Crown Vic. So he and I are gonna be tugging off tonight. It's gonna be some fun. I got called out by JH Diesel and his piece of crap Crown Victoria. That's lifted, but I brought my lifted Challenger Hellcat that I just put this blower on this week. So he and I both showed up. We are gonna tie off tonight and both send it, so I'm pumped. Look who showed up, dude. Hey, you think I wouldn't? So, hey, yeah. how's it going? Good, you. Last night he said, nah, bring the truck. I just had to mess with you. We actually weren't going to bring it. And then that junkyard motor I put in my truck. <laughs> Thanks. Where's well, the other Mitchell That's, did that, so. Yep, there you go. I made it uh, I made it better, I think. Yeah, I uh, wiped it. The, the, the junkyard motor I bought, the cam got wiped out in it, so I couldn't bring it. Otherwise, that's why we got this here. I mean, this thing's way cooler than that truck. About that, but uh, I mean, it's way cooler in your car. I'm glad so you got here that. first so that you could pull in the pits before me because I was like, I feel like an idiot here. Me too. <laughs> this in here. Yeah. Well, at least we're not alone. There usually is one or two cars that pull. Well, now there's three. You two. Actually I tied off with Judah and it went pretty well. That's good. I mean, it's kind of the same, you know. He had, he had tires kind of like same deal. Same deal, yeah. You got sand in the back here? Do what? You have weight in the back here? It's the mud from mud bogging it. That's about it. Pop the trunk on this thing. There's no way that fob works. There's no chance. <laughs> All right. No weight. Dude, I ain't coming unprepared, bud. I'm telling you. Unprepared? What do you mean? I'm not coming prepared. Buddy, you think I went through any kind of work to put weight in the back of this? I know you put a hitch on it, right? I did put a hitch on it. Well, let's just hope it holds up. <laughs> the guy in the lot's like, where do you want me to tie off on this thing? I'm like, just run it through these holes right here. I'm going to tell him to put it right through here. Yes, sir. Putting you on, dude. What'd do you it. bring out here today? Uh, that little red truck over there. The little red one? Let's yeah. go check it out. So, Brian, uh, you bought this truck like this. Yeah, just last week. I have no idea what it even is. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've seen this truck run before. Whoever did own it, that guy can't drive. Did, <laughs> did you do the diesel to gasoline swap on this thing? Yeah, for sure, dude. I would never. <laughs> I heard the new setup's pretty rowdy. I'm excited to hear it. Wow, that's a lot of oil to be leaking out of a new engine. God, can't hide money. Look at that thing, dude. Truck's looking good, Zach. Dude, I just want to get some trucks going wild juice in there too. You know what I mean? Since we're at the trucks going wild event and everybody's here, 20th year, first event of the 20th year tour, dude. Been doing this stuff for a long time and I couldn't do it without bad trucks like this and badass personalities like Zacho, dude. This freaking redneck showing up to this event, dude. Good to see you, man. You bring the truck or not? Are you riding with me? Uh, are we? Let's do it, Let's brother. Do it. I'm about it. Is your truck gonna do a wheelie? I mean, if it, if it does, I don't fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing that this thing's gonna do a wheelie when they start tugging. Show off, Mr. J. and I got this. Are you going for a belt tonight? I'll always go for a belt. Always go for a W. It's a little bit angry.
called it. Stack of swords. We're gonna stack on this thing. I gotta get ready to pull JH because there's quite a large crowd here. So I'm gonna deflate some air in my tires. I definitely have him on power, but he's got me on experience. I know I'm gonna try and take it slow in first gear, but I also wanna put it on the chip for the crowd. I mean, this is all for fun. This is all for fun. There's no prize or no purse or no nobody's competing for cash other than like side bets. So we're out here to have a good time, put on a good show. So you know I'm gonna be laying into that chip because that Hellcat pops and bangs. So I have no idea what's about to happen. Loved it, dude. That, that was, was so awesome. fun. Thank you, man. Hey, Thank you're you. a great okay. co-driver. Anytime you Woo! want. This is the only mud hole that truck will ever see. Push the forks right on the tailgate. Push on the tailgate. Works perfect. <laughs> Did it again. Dude, it was rowdy. That thing is so loud. Now that is a truck. Holy. Looking over the data log from the burnout, 
I don't know if we're getting belt slip. If anybody knows what's going on, we start off when throttle is 100% at 17.7 pounds of boost. And then as RPMs climb to the rev limiter, which I only have set to like 5,700 right now, it drops down to 12 pounds of boost or 13 pounds of boost. So I think we're getting belt slip when we're sitting on the limiter. These little spikes for the air to fuel is when I'm hitting my little uh, two-step button. It's the second rev limiter that I have. But overall, oil pressure looks good. Air to fuel looks good. The car is surprisingly healthy and loves doing the burnouts except for dropping boost when we're on the rev limiter. I guess it's gotta be belt slip, right? Unless it's like the like smooth boost or like the wastegate that's kind of like in the supercharger housing is opening for some reason. I don't know, I don't really have a data log from any other burnouts we've done. Yo guys, we got a sick weaker here, Stefan Gustafsson, right? Yeah, Did I say that right? Stay, stay Stefan Gustafsson. He's got a six second Corvette. You've been on like 1320, all the sick yeah. week, you've been in the magazine. And he yeah. came, he, you're running sick week this time, right? Yeah, Heck yeah, yeah this year. He came up and talked, we started chatting, and I was, saw the sick week shirt. He asked me yeah. if I've done it. That's why yeah. you're in town, right? Yeah, that's... we heard you guys got some mothers. <laughs> you could call it a mother. Yeah, you could call it a mother. Yeah, <laughs> you got tires. the tires on the front and the back. <laughs> Who made it to Florida, dude? Yeah, you guys doing sick week? Uh, oh yeah, doing sick week in the Cyclone. Spent like enough money to buy a whole other car to fix this Cyclone up. So where can they find you, dude? Race, rebuild, repeat on YouTube, man. It's a new channel. We got 20,000 subs. You guys heard that. He's got 20,000 subs in four, four days. Four like, days. Even like, race, rebuild, yeah, repeat. Yeah. Super simple name, really oh, random. Yeah. It's not my name like this guy. It's not a random person's name. That's Dude, not actually it's the brand. Name. Come on, man. <laughs> they, can, they can find me if they need dental work done or want to watch the car. Yeah, I'm not a dentist. So like, I just need to make money in the regular way. You're, right. right. You're probably going to lose five years of your life this week. <laughs> oh, I heard. Really, I don't know.
Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.